Bonelab has been out for a while now, and people have discovered some weird stuff about the game, such as hidden rooms, crazy bugs, and weird features. And with all this information, I made a list of 25 of the weirdest Bonelab facts ever. Enjoy. You can actually tame the crablet. If you hold it and you walk around with it for long enough, his eyes will turn cyan, and that means that he's your friend. It just takes a while. Look, his eyes became cyan. He doesn't attack me anymore. But if I go away far enough, he will start attacking me again. Like that. So yeah, when you tame the crablet, don't walk away too far from it. Or it will start attacking you again. You can actually open this quarantine door without doing the puzzle. If you walk this way and then walk back in this little like gap, it will create a small opening. And if you stick a crowbar inside of that opening, it will make it wider. Look, it's already widening. And when it's wide enough, you can go true you just want to force these doors to open i just went through so yeah that's how you skip this quarantine door you can also skip the next quarantine door if you go right here this wall you can just walk past it and then when you're at this part like outside of the map you can walk back jump here and then you went through. So yeah, that's how you skip this quarantine door. In the map Tuscany, there are these weird butterflies. If you touch them, they will just fly away with like a zero gravity effect. And if you smack them hard enough, they will explode into confetti. It just gave me confetti. So yeah, these butterflies are pretty weird. If you take a shotgun like this one, if you tap the trigger button, even though there's no ammo in it, you can still reload it. And if you don't tap the trigger... It doesn't work. It's a pretty weird fact about the shotguns from Bone Lab, and I think it's just a mistake on how they coded Bone Lab. The reason why this is weird is because when I do this, it doesn't reload, but even though I don't shoot a bullet, it will still register, and now I can reload. There is actually a mod that gives you every single item that you can unlock in Bone Lab. It also gives you some items that aren't even in the game yet. This mod is a leaked file from the developers, and with this mod, you actually get items like the spear. This isn't actually in the game yet but somehow with the mod you do get this item so maybe we see this item in the game in the future with this mod you also get this weird fort npc it's called a fort junkie it's just a bald fort which aggros i think that the developers wanted these items in the game but in the end they might have changed their mind and ended up not adding these two items this is the skeleton steel npc it's believed to be one of the strongest npcs from bone lab and it's also pretty heavy the tall avatar can barely even get this guy from the ground and did you know that it takes around 100 of these balloons to lift this guy from the ground look this is 91 balloons and this guy is still standing on the ground this is 100 balloons and he is levitating so yeah that's pretty sick if you compare this with a fort a fort only needs like 25 balloons look at the difference between these balloons and those balloons i think that that's a pretty cool fact about this balloon gun and the npcs from bone lab did you know that you cannot despawn these turret npcs look i'm trying to right now but it just doesn't work i think that you can't despawn despawn them because this item is actually not findable in a capsule because you can despawn everything that has a capsule for it like this nobody but you cannot despawn this because there's no capsule for this i'm interested to see if i'm right but we need to wait for there to be a turret capsule so until then we don't know why you cannot despawn these guys if you despawn the third omni projector at this part of long run you will get two omni projectors back it's such a weird bug okay so when i despawn these guys i will instantly get two more of them i'll just keep despawning them until we have like 10 of them like how weird is this there's constantly more of them coming without me spawning them i'm just despawning them i think this only works because i have the nimbus gun on invisible mode so that's why the game just glitches out i guess but yeah it's a pretty weird bug and you can get so many omni men in here look how many of them there are now before anyone is gonna say in the comments that this is fake go try it yourself just despawn the omni projectors with the nimbus gun on invisible mode I think that this is a pretty funny bug in the game. This door in long run is only openable if you finish this puzzle. But you can actually walk through this. If you put your arms forward and then just try to run through it, it will sometimes work wow i just went through so yeah that's how you glitch through this door most people probably know this but you can actually shoot objects with the death manipulator if you hold this orb and then let go of it it will shoot anything. I think it's pretty funny to just shoot knives at fords. But if that's boring, you can also shoot fords. <laughs> 
Look at him go. So yeah, that's how you shoot forts with the death manipulator. If you have a death manipulator and this concrete barrier, you can actually use it to fly like this. It's a pretty sick way to travel around the map. So yeah, if you're bored of using the Nimbus gun all the time, you can also do this. This also worked in Boneworks and it was used to speedrun the game. And yeah, thankfully it works in Bone Lab too. So yeah, that's how you fly with a death manipulator and a concrete barrier. Bone Lab has some really weird easter egg rooms just like this one in mind dive it's called the wishing well lift if you enter this room you will see just a really bright place with a wishing well lift in the middle it looks like you will fall through this but there is actually a floor supporting it and yeah in this room you hear some really weird voices talking about what they wish for of course I wish for good luck. so yeah i think that that's pretty mysterious you also have a key card room right here it's basically this little generator looking thing with a clipboard in the middle did you know that when you're on this noose if you just use the spawner gun and you spawn like a blade you cut it you can escape and some weird stuff starts to happen such as these people just despawning this is a pretty weird place some of these things are not solid you can just go through them but some of these things are actually solid like this torch thingy this seems like the city that the peasant grew up in but then like way simplified because there's like only a couple wood and houses here with nothing inside of them so yeah it would have been so cool if we could have actually used this trick to discover more about the city so yeah that's a pretty cool fact about the news there used to be loads of theories about like where the capsules were at the launch of bone lab and one of the most popular theory which ended up being a myth is that the skeleton avatar would sometimes randomly spawn in this room here people including myself have reset this level over 50 times to try to find this skeleton avatar capsule but we couldn't find it because it wasn't even in the game yet it was added in patch 2 and it's now at level 8 magma gate although it would have made sense for the skeleton avatar capsule to be here because this is the first place where you meet the skeletons so yeah i think that's a pretty fun fact about the skeleton avatar capsule if you go to the end of level 1 down here there's kind of a weird drop and if you look under this container there's actually a lot of ammo and a shotgun that you're not even supposed to find the first time that you actually use this shotgun in the campaign is at level 5 so it's pretty weird that it's already placed right here in level 1 so yeah if you want to go all the way down here and then all the way back up for a shotgun you can at the end of level 1 you have a myth os logo and some blue pipes and this blue pipe leads up here and then all the way up here you see some stuff that you can climb you can't use a nimbus gun because then the room will not spawn if you actually manually climb these like grips you will find a secret room right here we're almost at the end you just gotta grab this and then you have this part of the map you just have a weird small room you just see like some weird graffiti on the wall some weird lights here what are you even doing good question i think it's really cool that you can only access this by climbing manually and when you use a nimbus gun the wall is completely blocked the developers really tried their best to hide this room so it's pretty hard to find but yeah maybe this has to do something with the lore in the first version of bone lab level 9 moon base was actually really hard we did not have a map and there were no jump pads there was no beacon there was no like actual sign of what you needed to do but so many people complained about the level and now we have a map you have a map here too literally two maps it's unmissable and you have these jump pads so yeah moon base is now by far the easiest level even though it used to be one of the hardest levels which is pretty funny because you literally need to walk from there to this and then you need to pop open a capsule but still, so many people, including myself, took like 20 minutes to complete this level the first time. Because we just did not know where to go. If you're at the Tuscany map, and you go all the way over there, you will actually see that there is a randomly placed void leakage right here. It doesn't really serve any purpose. I don't think that there's any lore to this as well. But this void leakage was in Boneworks too, at the same place as well. So yeah, maybe it has to do something with the lore. Anyway, I just think it's pretty funny that they place this right here and maybe this is just an accident but they kept it in because either they were too lazy to remove this or they thought it was funny so people could speculate about it so yeah that's the void leakage in tuscany you can use the punk puncher to fly you can use the punk puncher to travel really fast if you just charge it jump and then punch yourself you 
can just fly backwards and it's way faster than walking this is really effective with the tall avatar it's pretty hard to travel like this because you travel backwards but it's still pretty cool and it's still a great way to move around the map so yeah that's a pretty cool way to travel with the punk puncher if you fully charge the punk puncher first let go of the grip and then let go of the trigger it will still stay charged and this is pretty cool because you can do so much cool stuff with this such as building this insanely strong hammer this is probably my favorite self-made weapon and you can use it to just launch forts oh my god look at him they will just fly away oh my god here you want to go too so yeah, that's a pretty cool way to use this bug with the punk puncher. If you collect the punk puncher, by the way, if you don't know how to collect it, check my 150 capsule video in the description. But if you collect the punk puncher, it is actually spelled punk pun and H C E R. So the H and the C are reversed. I don't know if they did this on purpose, but it's kind of funny. It could just be a mistake or they did this on purpose. Who knows? Maybe Fort knows. Jesus Christ. So yeah, those were a couple cool facts about the punk puncher. At this part of the map, halfway part, for some reason, if you walk inside of this room, the NPCs will despawn. It even happens with fords. You will just despawn. For some reason, there's like a barrier right here that will just despawn every single NPC. Let me know in the comments if you know the reason for this.